greetings from Evo Club Car Wash. Today, got something exciting to show you. Um, yeah, we've got an Alpha 156 in the house. Hey guys, so I am in an Alpha 156 and this is a, well, a new project that uh, that we took up here at Evo Club Car Wash. So basically the owner of this car, the owner bought this car right last week and uh, sent it to us with the request to help him manage the restoration journey of this vehicle. So over the next month or so, uh, as, as we go through the whole process, I will also be documenting all the works that we have done on the car, uh, we are doing on the car, our progress, and uh, you know, we'll share, then of course, we'll share this along the way, and hopefully we can return this car back to its owner better shape than when he bought it. So this is the 2 litre seller speed model and uh, this is the one where a lot of uh, a lot of people give flag you know because of the of this uh, the unpredictable transmission. Alright the seller speed it's a single clutch automated manual transmission so it's not an automatic but rather a, a normal manual transmission with robotic control of the clutch, right? Just like uh, the Proton Savvy AMT or the back then the E46 325i SMG. So the thing is that to drive drive this car, right? You you need to treat the gearbox like a manual. So right now I'm stopped in now now I'm stopping slowing down, right? The transmission does shift back to first gear on its own even in manual mode but the catch is all right uh, when you change when you change gears manually and, and it's recommended to, to do the shifting yourself rather than than re rely on the auto mode you have to lift off the accelerator pedal because think about it it's it's just like when you when you change gears in a manual transmission you have to lift off it's the same with this with these and uh, and I have to say you know being having driven so many top converters and DCTs and whatnot right there is a sense of satisfaction in, in driving these old you know single clutch automated manual gearboxes doing the lift and shift and getting the shifts right because the thing with these cars right is that if you trigger a gear change without doing the proper footwork you will know about it from the car i mean the, I, I remember there was last time when i was a less skilled driver and you know i was uh in i was i think in an audi r8 in sabang okay i i upshifted the artronic transmission without lifting off and god did that car jerk it jerked but yeah, I have to say you know it's it's there's a nice charm to this and uh, you know the best part is that the other day I plugged in our OBD reader onto this into this car there were no error codes this car and right now as I'm driving this yeah it's 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 smooth running it's very very smooth running Considering this is 20 year old technology, right? The way the 
uh, robotized manual handles the uh, the clutch actuation or rather the clutch modulation right it's actually quite smooth it's the calibration is actually not badly done so of course now you know the front is a jam right I just uh, I just use the accelerator ease up the, uh, step on the throttle then when the car in front slow down I ease off to utilize the engine braking now one thing about about this that a lot of you know uh, normal automatic owners will find disconcerting is that when you put this in transmission into gear right whether you engage first gear or reverse gear and you release the brakes the car does not creep you have to gently throttle on so that the car knows to re-engage the clutch and and let you move on you know that you know the funny thing was uh, the other day i was bringing this car down our multi-story parking ramp all right as the car was rolling down and you know heading straight to the uh, the boom gate you know where i needed to stop the car right uh somehow i very intuitively all right reached for a clutch pedal so something about the sensations that the drive tree gives out that made me that triggered me to subconsciously reactivate my manual driving mode so right now i'm taking on this lovely van all right cutting it handling is is good it's confidence inspiring outside as I will show you later on or in another video from the outside this car is not in the best cosmetic shape but mechanically mechanically it is it, it, it is almost flawless we did pick up some leaks la, under the, the, the floor pan but as crispy says you know if it doesn't leak it's not an alpha <laughs> there is just that sense of satisfaction in in, in you know in getting your your gear changes right for this car even more so i argue that with a manual transmission because you see with a manual transmission you are in control of the clutch here all right you have to get the you have to work together with a computer on the clutch work and you are not talking to the computer, neither is the computer talking to you. The only communication between you and the computer is your footwork and your inputs through the gear lever. That's it. But I like that feeling of uh, of directness when you apply the throttle. All right? It's uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's the kind of sensation you will really only get with a manual transmission. Okay, so you see right now I come to bring the car to a stop. Engage first gear when I release the brakes, the car does not move. Alright. Which means better. So I have to actually step on the accelerator to tell the car that I'm ready to move. But okay, never mind. Of 
offer any contest to, to what I what I'm just experiencing here. It's 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 just such a delight. Okay, so I just learned a further two things about this gearbox. One, uh, these these shift buttons really don't make your shifting any faster. Still, better, somehow better to use the gear stick. That's one. Uh, second thing is that I notice when you slow down, let's say like to a standstill or to a crawl, there is no need to uh, to downshift because the gearbox will recognize that when you're slowing down to a crawl to drop to second gear or if you're going to a standstill, first gear. So right now I'm rolling on fourth gear, right? And in front of me, cars are, are stopped. So as I hold on the brake, so it downshifts to three, two, second gear now as i come to a stop first gear and now i release the brake pedal up car does not move i need to step on the accelerator and inch the car Uh, the owner, right in his excitement, bought this set of half-cut headlights because he doesn't like the current set in his car. Right, he bought these headlights and uh, we are now at Sunway WRC Automotive Detailing Center where we, where we are dropping these lights here to be refurbished. Right, It's going to take a while because the owner has also wanting to repaint his car. So I told, told the guys here, take your time to sort this out. All right. Okay hey guys, so now we are at a tire shop in uh, in USJ Subang where we are going to do, well, the owner has bought him bought a new set of wheels. So these are, uh, well these Japanese OZ wheels came with the car, but uh, he wanted something that, uh, well, <laughs> that better suited the 156 aesthetics. So he sourced a set of these these uh, telephone dial, dial wheels same size as the one currently fitted in the car uh, excellent condition so he managed to strike a deal with a used alpha parts dealer who trade in his current set of wheels top in an extra 500 bucks and landed himself these so overall condition of these wheels look great I've inspected them uh, got some minor scratch scuffs here and a scratch at the edge but uh, overall condition is fantastic and yeah, we're going to install these, uh, have them balanced and put in the car. Right. While the tire shop owners are busy stopping the wheels, um, I'm going to study these, the suspension of the car. This is the rear suspension. Independent rears. Uh, owner have, has, the previous owners put in Bilstein instead of Bilstein. I'm not sure which Bilstein model is this. Alright, but here's the label. Okay. And um, and well, you can see here quite interesting design. So the the arms are actually quite slender. So you have the trailing arm here, all right, circular trailing arm, and you have two lateral arms per side, all right. And this is the uh, the anti roll bar here as well. Okay, so yeah, just the suspension setup. Okay, fully independent rear. Now. Let me go to the front and uh, check out the front end. These are who? Oh, rear front. The front is double wishbone setup. So you have one A arm here. This is what we call the A arm. Okay. And uh, there's another. There's a lower A arm below. Okay. That's the that's the suspension strut. Coil coil over strut. Front discs. Okay. And uh, here's the steering rack. That's the drive shaft in there. Looks a bit wet. We need to address that probably. Okay, guys. So check out the new wheels on the car. All right. What do you guys think? I think this uh, these wheels really suit the look of the 156. Check it out, guys. All right. So, bring you guys to look at the rear. Okay. 
So right now I've brought the car to Hooper Optic uh, in Puchong where the owner has requested that I bring the car here to tint the windows. Now uh, between our visit to the tire shop and our presence here all right we have also done a few other things. Now firstly what has happened is that we have stripped the interior okay we have gotten the team from DK leather right these are the same guys who are who are reupholstering my 5255i we have stripped the taken out the front passenger seat taken out the rear seats taken out the door carts uh, to have the upholstery redone we have kept the driver's seat here temporarily we will remove the driver's seat later on so today we're gonna have the car uh, tinted here because we really take out the door carts right so now is a very very convenient time to get the tinting done one shot okay guys so quite unfortunately this poor guy here needs a lift on the tow truck so what happened was that i brought i brought the car well here to sea park area yesterday night and well uh the car reached here no problem car was running fine started normally before this but today yeah uh but after i was done the car couldn't start so uh it was supposed to it was due memang due to send this car for a service and i have to say this tow truck guy is good because the car was previously parked in this position where this black toyota was and the two of us well basically we pushed the car back there and push this up here this guy he very skillfully helped to navigate the steering all right and uh yeah and got the car into this position now the car is being pulled up onto the flatbed so now i'm showing you his phone number if you guys need uh towing in the future he's uh this guy is a good tow truck bro what's your name bro desmond desmond, desmond ah. okay guys if you need towing service next time you can call desmond all right this is his number uh yeah so he did he did a good job for me so now he's towing this car from here okay to uh an alpha specialist in usj which i'll show you later in the video you know the the, the irony is i may not am supposed to send this car to service today and uh yeah and <laughs> and yeah so he decided to pull this little stunt on me but nevertheless all is good all is settled so i'm gonna bring this car to the workshop 